Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I get this glossy shine on my rocks, pendant and coasters. Also, I will show you how to fix the most common resin mistakes. So, keep watching for the whole process. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so far. Let's see what we need here. We need epoxy resin. I'm using Art and Glow that I bought from Amazon.com and I'm really happy with the quality. I'm going to attach the links of everything I use here in my description so you can find them easily. We need a bottle of hand sanitizer to clean up any mess from the resin. As I wanted to tell you that the resin is very sticky and you cannot clean with soap and water so you can wipe your hands your spoon your table everything with this let's see what else we need here we need a blow torch a kitchen lighter or a straw we need one of these so whatever is available a blow torch is a good option if you're resining a large project like a canvas or maybe 10 rocks. Straw is good enough for a couple of rocks. We just need to pop those tiny bubbles that we see on resin. Lighter could be a good option too as it will not push the resin with pressure. Whereas the blowtorch has a pressure and can push the resin and destroy your art. So I'm going to show you all three methods today. Let's see what's written on the bottle. It says crystal clear, self-leveling, resist yellowing, non-flammable and low order. Perfect. Let's get started and mix the resin and hardener into equal parts. I'm using one tablespoon to measure. Wiping down my spoon for the next time use. Let's set a timer for 2 minutes and stir. Try to stir slowly as it will avoid some bubbles. Now I will let it sit for 10 minutes. So that resin settle down. Make sure you protect your hands with gloves. Believe me, resin is really sticky and you don't want to mess with that. If you see bubbles, you can pop some in the bowl using a blowtorch or a straw. You can apply a thick layer for more shine.
For rocks, that's okay to apply a thick layer on the top, but go very, very thin layer on the back side. Else it will look rough after it dries with all that extra resin. Now I need to blow those extra bubble on my art pieces. I'm using a straw and blowing gently. Guys, this is definitely faster than a straw method. Just keep 6 to 8 inches distance while using a torch. If you chose a kitchen lighter, keep moving it in a circular motion or just move wherever you see tiny bubbles. These air bubbles are hard to capture in my camera, but you will definitely see them while resining your art. Now it will take 8 hours to dry, but 1 or 2 days to fully cure. After 8 hours, this is the right time to fix your resin if you have made any mistake, like maybe you apply a little extra on the back. Let me show you how I fix that extra resin that can mess up my art piece. I'm using an exacto knife to chisel this extra resin, but remember, you can only chisel this after 8 to 10 hours. If you try this after 2 days of drying time, sorry, not possible, it will be fully cured till then. I can see a Kia is printed on the back of my stone. <laughs> Guys, don't make the same mistake. Always place your rock on a smooth surface.
Again, I see some extra resin on the back of this rock. Let's chisel this one too. Just be careful with that sharp knife. Let's use a nail filer to make it even smoother. This is the best I can do to fix the bottom of the rock. Gloss varnish could be a good option to make its back smooth again. Even though it's not as shiny as resin, you can also choose to stick a felt on the bottom for a completely different look. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. If you think any content that I showed is useful, Please like and subscribe and share it so that other can have benefit from this tutorial too.